Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Jam Vibes. Olani Kumalo can be arrested for beating Nigerians up and searching their homes without any search warrants. Today, I want us to talk Sisoktola. And please, before watching this video, I want you to be very much indifferent. I want you to be calm and please put any form of hate aside. Let's have a conversation. Let's communicate. Before the communication proper, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Guys, we know fully well that Mr. Kolani Kumalo is doing the very most and the best as well in order to ensure that the streets of South Africa are cleaned up, are eradicated from all form of malicious and illicit consumables, especially from these illegal foreigners who are in the country and doing things just the wrong way. That is very much understandable and acceptable and I commend Mr. Kumalo for that. He is doing the most. But now, I want us to look at the other board of things. I want to believe that Mr. Kumalo needs to be very much cautious already. He needs to know what to do and how to do what to do. He is doing the best of jobs already to ensure that these drug dealers are being arrested and be behind bars. But then again, coming to someone's house without any search warrant, without any warrant of arrest, I don't know if he's having a warrant of arrest, but I know he doesn't have a search warrant because there are so many of these people who have come up on social media and be debunking him saying he enters their homes without any search warrant. Especially this popular Nigerian man who has been trending on all of our social media right now. I'm sure you all have already seen him and uh, most definitely I posted him countless times on this particular YouTube page. So if you've been watching my videos, you know the man I'm talking about. He came out there and was revealing that Mr. Trolani Kumalo comes here with three set of people. There are the mask guys, the guys who do the searching and the guys I think those who do the arrest or something like that. And he was really so shaky and scared saying that this mask guy is doing that few few minutes or seconds of break the way they actually touch this nigerians the way they beat these foreigners in order to you know confess that they have some illicit consumables in their house is very much unfair that is what the man had to say now that is just one person out of a hundred it could still be that this man is just lying or faking things up and stuff like that but then again, if what he is saying is true, then Mr. Kumalo definitely has to revise his strategies. Because I'm telling you all for a fact that, guys, to tell us the truth, so many people are connected already. Be it uh, South African nationals or foreign nationals or illegal foreigners in general, so many people are connected just within the South African nationality. And uh, for Mr. Kumalo to avoid implicating himself, please... I want to plead with him. I don't know if the team is listening to this or whosoever is listening to this, but I want to plead with him to do things right because so many people might be out there and they're just looking at him and be like, okay, they're waiting for the right time and they're going to bring him down. We know fully well that so many celebrities have actually reached the top, the toppest level and out of a sudden stumbled, uh, you know, profusely. And this is not my wish for Mr. Kumalo. He is doing the most to help South Africa. And what if the South African government can just assist him? I'm just saying. What if he can get a little more security? I'm just saying. What if his police forces can still just assist him? But then again, yo, the same police forces where Mr. Kumalo himself revealed that some top police, uh, you know, uh, dignitaries or officers are restricting the lower police people from investigating some criminal cases already. That is just to say that even at the level of the authorities, there are some things, there are some cases which are untouched. Allegedly because of the fact that these top police people are working hand in glove with these criminals. That is to say some of these criminals are highly connected and if Mr. Kumalo makes a wrong step, they could as well discipline him right. So many South Africans go out there be saying that they can really not do anything to Mr. Kumalo because if they do it, South Africans are going to revendicate and stuff like that. The truth about it is... When something has been done to Mr. Kumalo already, even if the world revendicates against the person or the people who did it, is it going to change any situation? What has been done to Mr. Kumalo has been done. Prevention is better than cure. I always advise people out there that, I mean, you know what you're doing is very risky. So take in the best preventive measures already, the best protective measures already. Do things in the best of ways. That is from me trying to be very much realistic, trying to be very much kind, trying to be very much comprehensive and understanding that, guys, this is life. So many people already want us to fall. Mr. Kumalo is wanted to fall already. We know fully well that, but is he going to fall? Only the good Lord knows. 
I want you all to please join and please do well to pray for him all the time. And in the comment section, you all tell me what you think about this. Do you buy the idea that Mr. Kumalo needs more security? Do you buy the idea that he needs more guidance? He needs to do things a little better and stuff like that. That is just me being a lover of what is ongoing, of, of what Mr. Kumalo is doing, sorry. But then again, I would I just want the best for him. This is me showing love to him in my own little advice I can give. You all tell me in the comment section what you think about this. I love you all.